let's look at how to overload the addition operator in Python with class instances. So first of all, I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call this one, let's see, fractions. Let's do fractions.py. And so this fractions, I'm going to create a fractions class that will just store a numerator and a denominator. Um, to make it really simple, to make it easy to understand. This class fraction. And let's see, when you declare the class or when you create an instance, you want to probably pass in your numerator and a denominator. Those are long words. All right. So let's do self. Uh, n equals numerator and self d equals denom denominator. Those are just too long. All right. So now, um, if you wanted to display the fraction, we're just going to display it as a you know a numerator divided by a denominator, so you can see it. Um, and I will typecast, or not, I will overload the string operator here, so you, you can see that. If when we just print it out, so return. Let's do the numerator divided by the denominator, and we will pass in the self dot n and the self dot d. All right. Now, if I want to overload the addition operator, this one is a little bit more complex than the string operator because this one takes two different pieces. So you have yourself, which is part of every method inside of the class, but you also pass in the other one. So when you do some kind of a addition operation, what's going to happen is you're going to have, so say something, um, so F1 plus F2 for action two, then what ends up happening is F1 is, uh, yourself and your F2 is your other. So it kind of give you an idea how it works. And then once you have those in place, you can go ahead and add them together. Now, because this is doing overloading, you can actually um, refer to individual pieces directly like the, the numerator and the denominator of the individual pieces. So I'm going to, well, if I add it, I need to figure out, first of all, do the numerators, or the denominators match? And if they do, then it's really easy. So if self dot D equals other dot underscore d then we've got an easy one and all you have to do is return a new one let's actually create some variables first so new uh numerator is equal to myself numerator plus the other numerator so add those together, and because the denominators match, we don't need to worry about changing anything, and so we just return the new function, or fraction, with the new numerator, and the, just use a self denominator. All right, now if it doesn't match, then we're gonna have to do some kind of multiplication thing, which is really kind of annoying, but we can we can do that. So our new numerator is going to be equal to my self numerator times the other denominator denominator plus I'm going to add the others numerator. So other numerator times my self denominator. So adds the two together after multiplying and then the new 
denominator is going to be equal to just the, the two denominators multiplied together. So cell denominator times the other denominator. And then we can return a fraction with my new numerator and my new denominator. All right, so that was probably complex enough to get an idea of how it works. But you can see how you can do much more complex addition type things when you do that. So let's go ahead and create some fractions. So I got a fraction one, F1 equals fraction. Let's make this one half. And fraction two, let's make this a uh, fraction. Let's make this uh, also one half. So we can add them together and see how that works. And then fraction three, let's make this one third. All right. Now I can print out um, first my fraction one. So we'll just see what it looks like. And then I can print fraction one plus fraction two. And the reason for that one is to make sure that if the denominator is the same, it does report just two halves. And then I'm going to print out the fraction 1 plus fraction 3, which should multiply them together. So instead of being um, you know, 1 half plus 1 third, you should see this one be 2 sixths and this one being... Um, three halves, so it should be like five sixths when it prints out. All right, so I got these all in place. I save it. I jump down to the command line and do directory listing. I can see fractions. I run fractions, and I am missing a semicolon right there. So jump back real quick. Put my semicolon in place. Save that. Run it again, and I am missing. I have an extra letter there. So you got to make sure you don't mistype everything. Numerator, save that. All right. And now you can see that it says one half, two halves, and five six. So that's exactly what we were expecting in the coding here. So this would be one half right there. This is the two halves, and then the five sixths. Now what you could do is add something else that does some kind of automatic um, compression and uh, you know figuring out you know if the numerator and denominator um, have similar factors and it can do that reduce it but um, this is just the basic idea to get you to understand how you can do the addition overloading operator operator overloading. Yep.